Well, Coach, thanks for doing this. I know the Combine is a really busy time for you. So when you're here in Indianapolis and you're with all the scouts and the coaches, what is your top priority for the week? Well, the top priority is to, is to get a good feel for the draft. I mean, that's the number one thing. But beyond that, there's a lot of things going on. You know, as you know, of course, there's all the conversations about the free agency and the cap cut guys and all the stuff that the fans are reading about. You know, I'm reading about them too. You know, I pulled up my NFL piece of my phone to see what's Ultimate going on. Ultimate Yeah, well, of course, of course. That's where you go for all your news, you know. And, and let's just see what's happening, you know, see what you're reading. I've got tape here. Our, our, our video staff, you know, is amazing with John Dubé and Colin and Mark. And they've got my whole office set up with video. So it's got, command center in there? It's command center, man. I got, I, got re I got it all, you know. So I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm actually watching running backs over these next couple of days. So just looking at all those guys in, in the process of looking at guys. So. It's fun. The other part of it is the interviews that you go through with these guys. You get these 15 minute windows where right. it's kind of rapid fire. You got to come through. You got to learn as much about these guys as you can in a short window. So when you sit down with a guy, what are you trying to learn about him? You know, you just try to, first of all, you meet him. I mean, it's, it's good to shake a person's hand, you know, mm -hmm. look him in the eye and say, hey, you know, it's good. To, it's nice to meet you and just see how they, you know, how they handle themselves, how they, how they speak, how they communicate, just who they are, like, like anybody would meeting anybody. But the main thing for me and I think for us is the football. You know, you only get 15 minutes. You're not going to get a person's whole life story in 15 minutes. But what we do get a little bit is how they, how they process football. So we've got video, we've got different teaching tools that we throw up stuff and say, hey, all right, talk, take us through this. Show us what you're thinking here. What's this play call? What was your read progression? What was your route? What we're doing offensive guys right now. Mm -hmm. Defensive guys come later in the week. So we'll be asking those guys, what was your read on this? What was your key? What was your diagnosis? Hey, what's the call? What's the blitz? You know, how's this work? So, uh, and then some guys are better than others. Some guys know the, the game a little better. We want smart football players. We want guys that know ball. So I think that's, that's a really big part of it. You know, we want guys that can, can think through a, a scheme. I'm curious, when you go through this week, you've been covering the combine and been here for so many years. What do you take when you see these workouts, you see these interviews, and kind of merge that with what you see on tape? I mean, a guy can come out here and maybe he runs a 4-4, and then you right. look at the tape and you say, I don't know if he's that fast. You know, that's exactly right. Or you look at the tape, and I'll, I'll write sometimes a note. Says, I'm not sure how fast this guy is. You know, he looks like a he looks like a he looks like a four seven to me on ta on tape. Then you'll then you'll get the time. You'll be like, whoa, yeah. this guy's why, why does now why does he now is, now they say well maybe he just doesn't look like he runs fast on tape. Is he pulling away from people, or maybe he just doesn't play that fast? You right. know, that's just you try to do it. And I think it's a it's a great a great book by Malcolm Gladwell. You know, and it talked about basically a uh, called Blink. You know, talking about kind of thin slicing stuff. I think. At some point in time, you've seen so many players. You've seen so many players at every level, whether it's draft, whether it's free agents, whether it's people you play. It doesn't take you long to just kind of sort out in your mind things that you're not even conscious that you're looking for to say, I have a feel for this player. I think this player is this kind of guy. And then you can compare him to another player. But really then see how he fits into your, your offense or our defense or our roster. How does this player fit us? Like, can I visualize what he's going to be doing for us and how he's going to help us either stop a team or move the football and score points? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the thing that I think is it's a little more art in my mind than it is science. So the combine is science, but I think the decision making is a little more art. And that's where you merge, like you say, you know, the tape, what you see it, and the guy, guy works out and with your brain and how you feel about the guy as a player. Now, one of the artwork pieces you're going to be working on this week is finding a wide receiver. You yeah. know, that's something I, I'm obligated to ask you about wide receiver yeah. because we're going to spend so much time oh, talking yeah. about that between now and the draft. When you're watching these guys, and you're, or is there one quality or something that you're looking for? There's the speed, there's the size and all that. But when you're, when you're watching them work out, are you looking to say, this guy has it, so he can be that kind of guy? Yeah, I'm trying to blink the guy uh -huh. into our offense. It's like, how is this guy going to move the change for us? You know, how do I see this guy catching touchdown passes? You know, and the things that go into that are not like, it's not like one thing. I'll say the one thing is, can you catch? I mean, to me, it's like, and I've always felt this way. If you can't catch, you can't play wide receiver. I mean, what are, what are we talking about here? We're throwing the guy, the guy the ball, you know? So he can be as open as you want him to be, but if he's not going to catch it, that's going to be a problem. And our receivers know that because I tell them that every mm -hmm. single day too. So you, I want you to be a catcher, but what kind of a catcher? You know, what kind of catches are you making? Are you making radius catches? Are you making adjustment catches? Are you able to control your body when you do it? Can you keep your balance? How quickly do you transition from the catch to the to the run after the catch, you know? How tough are you? How, how fast do you put the ball away? How strong are you at the catch point? How, how, how far can you reach in front of a receiver and go take the ball away, you know, from a defender as a receiver uh, in a contested type situation? Oh yeah, route running, getting open, getting off man coverage, understanding zone coverage. So all that stuff just kind of, yeah, it, just, <laughs> it merges, it yeah, merges okay. into, into a picture and a feel for how the guy's gonna fit you. And to me, if, and so many times, like when you watch the first 10 plays, your first instinct, is usually your right instinct about the player. 
now let's just make sure it's the right instinct by doing all this other work. Mm -hmm. Then maybe we'll come back and we'll, and we'll say, hey, this is a guy that can fit us. And we just got to be right, you know. So receivers a big deal. I mean, we're looking at receivers hard. We're looking at everything hard. Right. But we're looking at receivers real hard. So I'm, it's I'm, fun. I'm curious for you guys and your coaches. Your coaches are all here, and, and the Combine's the focus this week. But you guys have been putting in long hours since the season ended. They call it the off season, but I know that's not really the case. Right. What has been your focus since the season ended as a coaching staff? Oh, man, it's been everything. It's, it's been, the focus has been scheme. You know, the focus has been doing what coaches do. You know, the focus has been, you know, coaching the team. And coaching the team for us in the offseason is uh, we, we are involved in the personnel, and, you know, I, I think our opinion is valued, and we work on that. But more than that, it's been on our football. You know, what can we do to put the best defensive, put our guys in the best position to make plays from a schematic standpoint? How can we make this system the best that's ever been known in the history of football? That's what we're trying to do with all three of our, of our phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So, you know, I try to tweak the guy's imagination and say, you know, think in these terms, you know, think from this platform, and let's see what we can build from there. If we can build something even better than we've done before, we really need to do that because, you know what, everything gets better. These iPhones that are in our pocket right now, they're a lot better than they were a year ago. Right. Think I compare them to 20 years, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're going to build something that really works well. Our players can get out there and play fast, play smart, play hard, know what they're doing, and put them in a competitive advantage create an angle for them where they can make a play, not just on their instinct and their ability, but on the position we put them in, you know? And to me, that should be the number one focus of a coach. So there's several phases of the offseason. The combines right now, free agency is right around the corner in a couple of weeks, and then of course there's the draft and all that. How much when you guys go and you and Ozzy and Eric all go down to Steve's house and you kind of lay out the foundation of the blueprint for the plan, how much are you thinking about that at these steps? And, is, and does it evolve? Like, how does that factor into everything? Yes and yes. I mean, you think about it a lot, but it's really, it's the foundation. That's the, that's the stepping off point because that tells us, you know, what our resources are going to be, you know, what we're trying to accomplish, you know, why are we looking at this from a big picture standpoint? And then all the details fit into the big picture. So you can't go, you can't go from that meeting and say, hey, we're targeting these four guys in this order because it's just way too fluid for that. So you just not you come up with a list of names. You say these are the guys. We're definitely going to go after those guys. No, okay. you can't. You can't do that. We have the list of names, but that list of names is always changing. I mean, you, every time you, you guys, every time you do a report in the morning, yeah. the list changes. Yeah, yeah. So you got to be fluid. Then you got to, you got to get into once we get to the negotiations. You know, who costs what versus who costs what versus how who, who fits our team. This thing is like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's not even a puzzle. It's like it's like a soup. You mm -hmm. know, you got to kind of put the thing and make it merge and make it fit, taste right. You know, and make it be the best we can be for all the factors that go into it. So you got to be able to kind of hang back, not hang back in the sense of you're not doing anything, work like crazy, I mean, paddle underwater like crazy, and then, you know, pick your shots and then see what comes to you and see where you can win, you know, and that's what we're trying to do right now. So we just need to get, we're not going to get every player, but we need to get the right players for the Ravens, you know, with, with what we can pay them and how they fit us as a football player, you know. So I can't wait to see how it plays out, but like every day, every minute of every day is, you know, you're hungry for news, man. I want to talk to Ozzy. I want to talk to Eric. I want to know where we're at with this, that, and the other, and, and make a few suggestions here and there. And maybe they roll their eyes, you know. But they don't. I mean, I think, at least they don't in my face. Um, but I'm pushing. You know, I'm pushing, and, and they're pushing. And uh, we take that plan that we had in Florida, and now we try to execute it. We're going to be excited to see how all that plays out over the next couple of weeks. Coach, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it, Enjoy the combine here.